Let's look a little more at those layers now. Here we go. Now the layer that you're working on is going to be highlit like this. You see it in blue. Background layer is currently locked. Little little lock button over there. That means I can't do anything on the background layer. If I, if I grab my paintbrush tool and try to paint in here, it won't do anything. I can actually show you that. Let's just hide everything else. Use these buttons here to show or hide layers just like that. Notice the background says background in italics and a little, little lock symbol over here. That means they're pretty much we can't be working with or on the background layer. Some things will work on the background layer, some things won't. But basically it's an unused layer. Now you can get rid of this by double clicking on that layer. Easiest way to do it, just double click and it automatically gives it a name of layer 0 and choose OK. It gives it a regular layer name, removes that lock. The background layer is now workable. And we, we can switch between a background layer and a non, and a non layer so we want to be looking at, at that later on as we get over to the layer menu and talk about that. We can show or hide different layers by using these buttons right here. little show and hide layer. Notice the kind of checkerboard pattern in there. That denotes transparency. This layer obviously has transparency around it. We can lock different aspects. Lock the transparent areas. We can lock the image pixels. We can lock it from being position being moved or lock everything up here. Let's take a look at this one. I'll lock the position or lock everything like that. Now if I take the move tool, try to move it, I can't do it. The paintbrush tool, let's get the little cross out sign. I can't paint on this. So none of this stuff is allowed. Let's say I'll unlock that and I'll lock the move portion. Let's go back here to, to uh, unlock that first. There we go. Back to our sailboat. Let's lock just the movement. So I can't move this, as you can see. I can't drag it, but I can paint on it. Let me just grab a new paint color here. Grab a bright red so you can see that. Grab the paintbrush. So I can paint in it, but I can't move it. So I've locked just that one aspect. Let's just undo that brush tool. Let's lock the brush now. And notice I can't use the paintbrush on that layer. Painting has been locked out. Let's unlock paintbrush. I'll lock transparency. And you'll see now I can't paint out here in the transparent areas, but I can paint in the non-transparent areas. So it allows you a little bit of refinement on how you're working with your different sections of your document. Let's just undo that brush tool. A couple of steps here. Actually, step backwards. There we go. And I'll click on that layer again and unlock both of those. We can adjust the fill and opacity settings in here of our layer. There's the opacity, make it transparent, a little ghost ship happening. There we go. We can adjust the blending mode of the layer, how the layer blends with layers in behind. This is only things that are dark. I'll take the layer darker. We'll be using blending modes a little later on, but these are different ways of controlling how one layer interacts with the layers in behind. Put that back to normal again. So those are your basic options. Now, along with that across the bottom, some additional options down here. We can lock or unlock layers together using the lock button. If I had more than one layer selected, let me just hold the control key down and click on this layer. I now have two layers selected. I can lock those together like that. Now if I move one, they both move together, as you can see right there. So you can lock your layers together if you want to, or unlock them. There we go. We can apply filters from the layers panel right here, drop shadows, inner shadows, glows, bevel and emboss, and so forth. We can create masks in here. We can, again, work with different settings, different adjustments. We can create new groups to group our sections together and we can create new blank layers in here giving us some place to work with additional imagery inside of our document or filters or whatever.
you can remove layers. Click on a layer, drag it down here to the trash can, actually just throw away a layer just like that. So those are the basics here on working with our layers. We'll be spending a lot of time, I have a whole section just on using layers and the layer menu because this is a very important aspect of working in Photoshop is understanding and using layers appropriately. But the basic concept is you separate the different aspects of your illustration into different layers, thereby giving you great control over the whole illustration.